In the myth world, weapons are so powerful they've become legends. These weapons are so amazing that people write stories and make films about them. Myths from long ago are filled with tales of these strong, sometimes magic weapons. Now let's dive into 10 of these legendary weapons. 10. Excalibur The tale of King Arthur has fascinated us for a long time. Arthur was just an ordinary guy who was destined to be the king of the Britons. According to the legends, there was a sword, Excalibur, stuck in a stone or anvil in the town of Carlisle. The person who could pull out this sword would become the true king of Britain. Many nobles and knights tried to pull out Excalibur, but it wouldn't move. Then, a young boy named Arthur, who didn't think he stood a chance, tried his luck. To everyone's surprise, he pulled out the sword and became the king of Britain. As king, Arthur was a great leader with his Knights of the Round Table. It's believed that Excalibur's magic helped Arthur and his knights win their battles and made Arthur unbeatable. Camelot didn't last, but the ideals of living a good and noble life did. 9. Mjolnir Next, let's talk about Thor's hammer Mjolnir. This hammer is so unique that only Thor, the god of thunder, can lift it. Reminds you a bit of Excalibur, doesn't it? Mjolnir is a symbol of Norse mythology, where lightning flashes and thunder roars. This isn't just any hammer. It was made by expert dwarven craftsmen, the best in the world of gods. The trickster god Loki bet his life that these dwarves couldn't make anything as great as gifts from the sons of Ivaldi. The dwarves took on the challenge and created Mjolnir, a hammer that can crush mountains and is nearly unbreakable. But Mjolnir isn't just a hammer. Because of Loki's mischief, its handle is shorter than planned, making it unique. The coolest part? Thor can throw it, and it always returns to him. Mjolnir is not only Thor's ultimate weapon, but also his closest companion. 8. Gungnir Imagine a spear so famous that just its name, Gungnir, makes Vikings feel a chill. This spear, belonging to Odin, the chief god, was made by the universe's top metal workers, the dwarves. It's so well made that it never misses. But there's more to this story. Loki, a tricky god, dared the dwarves to make three things better than the gods' treasures. Using Gungnir, Odin, who is very wise, did a special ritual to learn a lot. He hung from the world tree, Yggdrasil, for nine days, wounded by his own spear. It sounds extreme, but who are we to question the top god? Gungnir is more than a weapon. It's a symbol of power, wisdom, and giving something up for something greater. It's a famous part of Norse stories and shows Odin's endless search for knowledge. 7. The Trident of Poseidon Poseidon, the sea god, has a mighty three-pointed trident. This special weapon lets him control the ocean's power. Imagine calming or stirring up the sea with a small movement. This trident isn't just for show. It was one of three special weapons made by the Cyclopes for the gods to fight the Titans. Poseidon got the perfect thing for the beach. With his trident, he could call sea creatures, make water, and cause earthquakes. It's more than a weapon. It's a symbol of his control over the sea and its creatures. The trident of Poseidon is more than a cool tool. It represents strength, authority, and the sea's unpredictable nature. 6. The Sudarshana Chakra the Sudarshana Chakra is known as the strongest weapon in Hindu stories. It belongs to Lord Vishnu, the protector of the universe. This spinning sun-like disc was made by the god Vishwakarma. It's so bright there's no darkness where it is. Its 108 sharp edges represent 108 important Hindu texts. It always comes back to Vishnu after hitting its target. In many big stories, the chakra plays a key role. It was used as a sundial in a huge war and even cut off the head of a demon king's brother. It's not just a weapon. It's a symbol of doing what's right and Vishnu's commitment to keeping the universe in order. 5. Kusanagi Kusanagi no Tsurugi, which sounds like a mystery and feels powerful, is a famous sword from Japan's ancient times. Though its name means grass-cutting sword, this is no ordinary sword. It's a special, almost magical weapon with a story as sharp and thrilling as its blade. Here's the exciting part. Within Yamata, no Orochi, a scary serpent with eight heads, lay Kusanagi. The storm god Suzanu beat this monster and found the sword in one of its tails. Imagine finding treasure in such an unexpected place. But Kusanagi is more than a sword. It's one of Japan's three sacred treasures, symbolizing the emperor's throne, along with a wise mirror and a kind jewel. It represents courage and the good rule of Japanese emperors. The mystery of where Kusanagi is now makes it even more intriguing. It's said to be an Atsuta shrine, but no one can see it. Kusanagi is a symbol of bravery, mystery, and the lasting impact of great warriors. 4. Brahmastra Now let's talk about the Brahmastra from Hindu mythology, which takes the prize for being an incredibly powerful weapon. The Brahmastra is far from ordinary. It's a name that echoes with power and holiness. 
Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe, made this extraordinary weapon. This isn't just any bow and arrow, but a divine force that could destroy whole planets. The fascinating thing about the Brahmastra is that it's not a physical weapon. It's a sacred chant, a mantra, that when said, brings forth a divine weapon with unbelievable power. It's like the ultimate hidden weapon. However, the Brahmastra is more than just a weapon. It stands for the gods' intervention and shows their strength. Using it is considered a last option because it's said to harm the environment a lot, like a nuclear bomb. That's pretty intense. The Brahmastra plays a big role in two epic stories, the Ramayana and Mahabharata. So, the Brahmastra is not just a tool, it's a symbol of divine power and a last resort weapon, similar to today's nuclear weapons or the fire weapons Sun Tzu talked about in The Art of War. 3. Aegis this is a shield not like any other, a magical one named Aegis, belonging to Athena, the goddess who loves knowledge and battles. This shield, created by Hephaestus, the god known for his incredible blacksmith skills, isn't just for defense, it's a symbol of divine strength and safety. How cool is it to have connections with gods? Aegis often looks like a cloak or a piece of animal skin, and what's terrifying is that it's decorated with the head of Medusa, the monster with snakes for hair. Imagine facing your enemies with that. It's so strong that no weapon can break it, and it even scares enemies just by its appearance. This shield is like a badge of ultimate power. But Aegis means more than just a weapon. It shows Athena's protective nature, her smart battle strategies, and her deep understanding of war. She even shared her Aegis with her favorite heroes, like Perseus and Hercules, during their brave adventures. It stands for divine guarding, military wisdom, and the god's blessing. Today, in our modern military, Aegis refers to a super-strong weapon and computer system used by the U.S. Navy to guard their ships. 2. The Spear of Destiny The Spear of Destiny, shrouded in an air of mystery and fabled tales, is not merely a relic from history. It represents a divine force and a predetermined fate. As narrated in the Gospel of John, this spear, also known by the name Holy Lance, was wielded by St. Longinus, a soldier of the Roman Empire, to wound Jesus Christ at his side while he was being crucified. This act was significant for two reasons. It was the final of Christ's five holy wounds, and it miraculously cured Longinus's problem with his eye, thus surrounding the spear with an aura of miraculous divine intervention. Various artifacts are claimed to be the authentic Spear of Destiny, each boasting its own narrative and historical importance. One is housed in St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, presented as a gift to Pope Innocent VIII following the conquest of Constantinople. Another, the Lance of St. Maurice, is kept in the Hofburg Palace in Vienna and has been used in the ceremonies of coronation. A third spear is located in Vagarshapat, Armenia, connected to the story of St. Jude the Apostle. 1. Gay Bulg In the realm of Celtic mythology, the Gay Bulg represents a distinct kind of mythical might. This spear, owned by the legendary hero Cú Chulain from the Ulster cycle of Irish myths, was crafted from the bone of a sea creature and was taught to him exclusively by his combat instructor, Skathak. The special and ceremonial manner in which the gay bulg was utilized highlights its mystical background. The terror of the gay bulg came from its gruesome operating mechanism. Once it penetrated a person's body, it would expand into 30 sharp barbs, making its removal an unsettling process involving the cutting of flesh. Its sorrowful history is underscored by the battles of Ku Chulain, notably with his foster brother Ferdiad, and later with his own son Kanla. In each instance, the spear was employed as a final option due to its certain lethal outcome. Is there a mythological weapon from your culture or a story you've heard that stands out to you? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this mythical journey, please consider liking and subscribing for more fascinating explorations into the worlds of legends and lore.